Hi, welcome to Oakview Tutorials. Today I'm going to show you how to add a contact to your organization in our registration database and allow that new user to access an existing project in Oakview. So for that, open your browser and go to our registration uh, website, which is here. Click Login and enter your organization name or your organization URL. Only one of them is needed. And click submit. Then enter your credentials. And you are taken to the organization uh, page. To add a contact to that organization, simply click actions and then add contact. Fill in the required fields. Let's give him a name. It'll be John Doe. Uh, we will make him a Oakview user. We don't need the phones at the moment. Let's give him an ad email address and some credentials. Let's confirm the password and click create. So we have our new user and we need to give him access to some Oakview projects. For this, for this, click Actions and Add Project. You see the list of projects that are associated with your organization. Let's give him access to Oakland Demo and AR World, for example. Save. And that's done for the site. So now we can take our device and open Oakview. Let's type in our new username. John Doe and our password. Press login. And there we go, we have our two projects that we choose uh, in the web page. So that's all for today. In the next tutorial, I will show you how to register your device. Thank you. Hi, welcome to Oakview Tutorials. Today I'm going to show you how to register your device to use Oakview. This implies that your system administrator has sent you your Oakview credentials along with a license token. So firstly I open my emails and retrieve my license token and uh, credentials. So I will copy this uh, license token. After that, I can launch Oakview. It tells me that my device is not registered, so I click OK to launch the process. It will take me to the registration web page where I will enter my organization name. I don't need to enter the organization URL, it's either or. And click Submit. Afterwards, I have to enter my username and password and click login. And finally, my license token. That's it. So my device is now registered. I can go back to Oakview and I can now log in with my username and password. Done! So that's it for today. Thanks for listening.